Hi, welcome to the California Connects program. For the next few minutes, we're going to cover some pretty important stuff. First, you're going to learn about your laptop, and then also about the program resources that you can find. You'll learn about training in your community, about how to perform outreach, how to report, and last, you'll learn about Microsoft testing. Let's begin by exploring your laptop. We've given you three internet browser choices. You might be familiar with Internet Explorer. We've also added Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Google Chrome is a very good choice if you're interested in internet speed. Mozilla is another solid choice. Both of these browsers are good fallback browsers if something's not working properly in Internet Explorer, or vice versa. If something's not working in Mozilla, try Internet Explorer. Anytime you experience a problem with your laptop, be willing to experiment and try out new solutions. There are often multiple solutions to any problem you might find. You can often Google a problem, and the answer will be right there. Next, let's take a look at some other programs that are installed for you. We have Microsoft Word 2010, PowerPoint, and Excel. Also, you can get to additional programs by clicking on Microsoft Office, and you have Access, OneNote, SharePoint, and Publisher. You also have 12 months of internet virus protection installed on your laptop. You can get to it by clicking on Semantic Endpoint Protection, and then you will see the status will usually say your computer is protected, no problems detected, or it will let you know that it's detected a problem. You can scan for threats by clicking on one of these options. And you can also view your quarantine. And this is where it will quarantine files that are at risk to injure your computer, and then purge those quarantine, quarantined items. Always keep your PC up to date by clicking Live Update. should automatically be running for you, but if it's not, remember to come back here and click Live Update. Let's go ahead and look at some important websites for the program. Go ahead and open up any one of the browsers, and they will take you to a few web pages already bookmarked for you. The first is going to be our Ning community. Your first assignment is to sign up in Ning. So go ahead and click here to join, and you have the option. You could either create a new account with your Facebook, your Google Gmail, your Twitter, or your Yahoo, or you can just use your email address, create a password, and then of course type in the CAPTCHA code here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up using my Gmail. This works best if you log into your Gmail first and then click on the Gmail. And if you do that, it will automatically take you to the Ning website. The Ning website has also been optimized for smartphones, iPads, iPods, any devices that you can think of, so please try those out as well. So this is the landing page, and from here you can get to many points of information that you'll find handy. First of all, you could find information about your laptop. Assignment two is to go ahead and go in here and click on Packaging Letter. You received a packaging letter with your laptop, but just in case you lost it, click on this one, and you can find out really important information on how to order a backup disk for, for your laptop. You will definitely need that backup disk, so be sure you order it. Your laptop also comes with some disks that contain Office 2010, and once you restore your laptop with the backup disk, you'll need those Office 2010 disks to put Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and all of the other programs back onto your PC. Your packaging letter also provides information on how to connect your broadband through AT&T. Okay, so at this point, you called HP and ordered your backup disk, and then you called Insight and activated your broadband or your internet. Next. Click on Skills Training. This shouldn't take you very much time. There's only about 10 web pages of information. They're all pretty short. This will give you a brief program overview on what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how you need to proceed to go into your community and train others. This information also has many links inside of it that are to different forms that you're going to need whenever you conduct that training. These are hard copy forms. Once you fill out those forms with your trainee, you want to go ahead and do the online reporting through training report or outreach report. Be sure you submit those online reports as soon as you conduct the training or do the outreach. It's very important to the program that you submit that data quickly. Once you finish this skills training, you're going to take a brief quiz. It's a pretty simple quiz just to make sure that you read some of the information and comprehended it. This should also only take a few minutes. Besides training, 
you also are responsible to conduct at least one outreach report. Now, outreach can be many, many different things. Perhaps you write for your school paper and you want to talk about California Connects with the school paper. That counts. You can make a five minute YouTube video that teaches somebody how to do something with the internet or with a computer. If you speak multiple languages, please feel free to make the video in whatever your language is that you prefer. Many IT resources are not available in any other language besides English. So when you make that instructional video in any other language, you're performing a real service to your community. Another good idea would be to attend a community event and pass out flyers, try to get trainees for your program that maybe other Mesa students can train. Anything where you're getting out there in the community, either online or in person, and spreading the word about the training that you're providing counts for the program. So go ahead and do at least one of those things, and then click on Outreach Report and submit the information about what you did. Lastly, living with technology. What this is is a free online tool that you can give to your trainees to use. It should be in Spanish shortly. Right now it's only in English, but you might not have an infinite amount of time to train that person and give them all the information they need. Well, this free online tool is a great place to direct them to where they can continue training when you're not there to help them out. Okay, let's go over that again really quick. So you'll click on skills training or pre-service skills training to go over the program skills training. And then you'll go out into your community. You'll perform outreach or training. At least one outreach report is required. Seven training reports are required. If your trainees need some more help, you'll direct them to the free online course so they can get the help they need. Next, you're going to go to the Microsoft certification. Don't wait too long to get started on the Microsoft certification. You can definitely do this. A few Mesa students have completed the PowerPoint test with as little as 30 minutes study time. You can complete the Word test, the Access test, the Excel test as well. Those take a little bit more study, but they're definitely more valuable to employers. A Microsoft certification might make all the difference between you getting that dream job or that perfect internship. Definitely don't miss out on this opportunity. So the first thing you're going to do is download Gmetrics. You might already have it on your computer. You can check by looking at your desktop. So if you have it, you'll see it right here, Gmetrics SMS. If you have it or not, you're still going to want to click on Microsoft certification and then Gmetrics. If you don't have it, here you're going to find installation instructions for how to get it. If you do have it, you're still going to need to go here because you need to register. You'll click on gmetrics.net. This will take you to the gmetrics website where you'll click register here. Fill in all of your information and go ahead and make a note of your user ID and your password because you're going to need that to study. Once you enter your information, you're going to have to click next and then click go to login. This is where you're going to install gmetrics if you don't have it installed already. Go ahead and close out if you already have it installed. Next, you're going to want to go back to Ning and find your Gmetrics practice code. You could find these under Quick Links and then Codes, Gmetrics Codes. You want to find the code that's associated with the college that you attend and then copy it. Save that code somewhere. For now, go ahead and write it down on a piece of paper because you're going to need to manually enter it and you won't be able to access it any other way. Open up Gmetrics. You're going to need to put in your username and your password to log in. And then you'll need to type in that code exactly in order to get to a test. If you type in the code and you get an error, please go back to the Ning site and make sure you copied the code correctly. Try to re-enter it a few times. If you continue to get an error, please contact caconnects at foundationccc.org and we will try to get the code fixed as soon as possible. So if you get the code to work, you'll click Next, and you will see this screen. You'll select a test. You must have Microsoft Office 2010 installed in order to get to this screen, so be sure that you have it installed. And this is just in case you're using maybe a home computer or another computer at school that might not have 2010 installed to work through Gmetrics. Your laptop should have it installed, so go ahead and pick a test and click Next. And then you'll see this screen. Go ahead and click Training, and then you'll have the selection between core test 1, 2, or 3. The questions are just slightly different. Then go ahead and click Next. And you'll see the testing screen, which looks just like Microsoft Word, because it is Word. And the only icon that is extremely important that you master is this question mark icon. If you click that, it will walk you through how to solve each question. 
This is invaluable because you'll be learning as you test. So go ahead, try out Gmetrics and try out this question icon. See how it works for you. Now once you're feeling pretty confident, you can go and log in again and try testing mode. Go through and see what kind of score you get. You need a 650 to get a passing score. But aim for 800. Once you get 800, you're ready to take the official test. Contact your MESA director to find out where your testing location is. If you feel like you need a little bit more work with the curriculum, click on IT Academy and find out what your access code is. IT Academy is an online curriculum to walk you through Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Access. Just like Geometrics, IT Academy requires that access code, and you can get it from a couple different places on Ning. Now, be sure that you locate the code for the specific Microsoft product you're interested in studying. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access all have separate codes. You'll be able to copy and paste the code. Once you do that, and give them your student email address, it could also be your personal email address, they'll still require you to sign up for a Microsoft account. So go ahead and sign up for one. If you have one already, go ahead and enter your information. But if you don't, click sign up now. You're going to have to confirm your email, and eventually Microsoft will let you get to this screen. I used a Word code, so what I see is Microsoft Word training for, for intermediate, advanced, and beginner. I'm going to start with beginner. You can click on Begin Course to get started. You may need to allow pop-ups. Choose Always Allow Pop-ups. This is what it looks like when everything is working correctly. If you close out of the training, you'll be able to see your course progress and what you've already completed. If you experience any problems within IT Academy, please locate the IT Academy contact information and send them a help ticket. You can find various information on support under our FAQ. Here you can see a number of questions that have already been asked about IT Academy, including how many times can the student take the exam. The IT Academy troubleshooting guide will provide you with a lot of general IT Academy troubleshooting help, as well as give you the contact information for Microsoft in case you continue to experience issues. If you experience any problems with anything, please check out our forum. There are frequently asked questions about the laptop, IT Academy, Certiport, Gmetrics, training, and outreach. You can also add a discussion, and we'll monitor this regularly and answer your question. Please also feel free to email us at caconnects at foundationccc.org with any questions. Okay, Mesa students, so we went over your laptop, you learned about training your community, the program resources on this site, all about Microsoft testing. We'd also like if you'd like us on Facebook, can share your best practices with your fellow Mesa students. We've learned so many great things about what the Mesa students are doing in the community, and we'd love if you'd be a part of that. So please like us, and once again, thank you for your service. Take care.